The British Council has been working in Pakistan for 70 years and we're delighted to be celebrating this anniversary uh, this month by showcasing our heritage collection of books. 15 years ago when the British Council libraries across Pakistan had to be closed, we dispersed thousands of books to institutions across the country but we kept 450 special uh, legacy editions mainly about history of the relationship uh, but a few arts related books as well and we're delighted this weekend 20th 22nd of October at the Heritage Now Festival in Lahore that we are able to launch this collection. This curatorial experience has been unlike any other because we both had to extract themes from existing books that were already there. In going through the books uh, we, don't, we try to identify themes that would make a coherent exhibition. So we put those into 10 main categories. We have books that actually show what the British wanted to attain and also what was going on within India and to its people and to its land. So hopefully there's some sort of a dialogue that everyone can see that's been put on display through these invaluable books. Uh, books like these, um, textbook of uh, Urdu and the Roman script or memoirs or histories of, uh, of British India um, and stuff like that, they're really important sources of, uh, or the reminder of the colonial past of this region. Uh, and they're important not just in terms of um, the kind of information which they provide, but also in terms of how uh, knowledge production took place, what kind of uh, influences were there which shaped the, the process of knowledge production in British India. And as such, they are an inevitable source of, of research for people who are interested in the history of this region uh, and the entire spectrum of knowledge production in colonial India during this period. And so I'm very, very happy that this collection is now available and accessible to readers and researchers in Lahore. Unfortunately, in our society, um, relationship with the past is a massive gap. We still are lagging behind most other countries in terms of preserving our history, preserving our archive. And if you don't have a relationship with your past, your relationship with your future also falls apart. And then your very experience of time dissolves. When we talk about history, it's not simply history books that are important, but we have to emphasize the importance of the archive, of the primary documents, because they give us a living example of how texts circulated in the previous centuries. So I congratulate the British Council for this endeavor, and I hope this is just the beginning of more work on preserving aspects of our past. The history as a subject is very deeply linked to identity formation, and you know, primary sources are absolutely central. Um, to understanding how identities are formed. Uh, authors such as Malcolm Darling or Tucker, these were British officials who worked um, you know, under the Raj, who worked in India, and they were instrumental in shaping land relations um, in a very important province like Punjab. Uh, these are sort of the things that we have inherited um, even after independence and after partition. British Council Library available in the लबन पढ़न पढ़न और हर सारे नू नहीं पता जन नू नहीं पता वो जान और उठे जाके पढ़न I'm really excited about the future of the Legacy Book Collection. I think there's a huge audience out there for this content. There's something quite magical about interacting with the physical text that we want to respect. We'll be taking the collection beyond Lahore to Karachi, Islamabad and beyond. But there's a lot of work that we still need to do around preserving the books in the collection. Many of them are over 100 years old and need a lot of conservation work. So the next step in the project for us is to ensure that they're in good condition and that we maintain them for future generations to explore their shared history. to have this opportunity to see these rare manuscripts, these books, the lithographs that we haven't seen, that we don't have access to. And being a, a practitioner myself and a teacher, these are great resources. Uh, I think these books are a very important corpus 
uh, of the last 100 to 150 years of our history, of our culture. Because one of the things that the, that the British very much did at the, at the British period, it was a very heavy emphasis on information collection. So this gives us a very important material to actually reflect upon, to look at critically, to engage with. The range and variety of books on display here speaks volumes about the nature of knowledge production in this period of empire. It's kind of weird to see them all gathered here like this. I have worked with some material like this in, in the UK at the Royal Geographical Society, but it's really refreshing to see it curated and redisplayed and mashed up like this by the curators. I congratulate them on like a really refreshing perspective and of making use of this archival material. The curators here have done an excellent job of exploring different themes, historical themes, cultural themes within the legacy collections of the British Council. I really enjoyed the exhibition and I think also that they very creatively used the space um, as well. Books can be very difficult to display but I think that the way that it's laid out has been a really creative way of exploring the British involvement in the subcontinent through these collections. Well, I think that this is a really important exhibition. Uh, what interests me particularly is uh, are the, the industrial craft and art section and how its legacy uh, remains to date. We're delighted by the response that we've had here uh, at this exhibition and it has given us new ideas um, and a new energy to take this forward um, and to collaborate with other institutions um, and organizations um, in uh, preserving the rest of the books from this um, series and um, to display this, to find new homes for this exhibition, to make it travel to other cities and other places and to make it available for academics, researchers, students and the general public uh, to be able to access the content um, and the, the shared history of these books.